The Willie is waiting. The two Willies? Oh god, not the two Willies. Finish my sentence and I'll cut your fucking tongue off. A local pedestrian was heard shouting at a fucking motorist who was engaging in a good old trusty phone call with him and he was scared that people would treat him like a corpse when it is apparent it's exactly what he is and don't you dare confront me on my shittings and my fillings. What are your fillings though? What exactly do you fill yourself with? Fill me with cement and I am good to go. Are you a house? No mommy, no. I am much much more so don't you dare forget it. Does it has to be the same? Oh the time? When we see each other we burst into hateful rages that rage for days and days and days? But if it wasn't for the dangers of Jesus we wouldn't know who hit me. If you don't leave Jesus out of your fucking monologue I am gonna hit you with my empty bottle of loose juice. Oh right? You got it? Or do I have to tell you again? Cause if I have to this bottle is going somewhere else. A neo-Nazi was stood on the street in the early hours of the morning after reports swirled round after he escaped from the detention center where mommy had held him captive for being a waste of fucking space but unfortunately because he had so many rat-like features he chewed through the rope and ate all the cheese in mummyville. See all the locals pride themselves on their never-ending cheese supply and when this freak ate it all there was a bounty out for his killing and ever the one who want public attention. Love and affection. Mommy tracked him down with her trust Ouija board and she tried him up and beat him repeatedly with a chainsaw and then made him commit suicide by asking him how many times he wanted his cock circumcised and he didn't and he cried but didn't die before his dick was cut and he died unhappy because he was a cunt. Is this when you're gonna hurt me for hurting others? No mommy. This is the one and only time I will applaud you and thank you for your heroic behavior. However, mommy, if you ever do this to a normal civilian in Mommyville, I will punch you. Is that a threat and a compliment all rolled into one? Yes, mommy. That is exactly what it is. Feel my tasty freshly baked baguettes. A local French bakery was heard moaning and moping in the early hours of the party mornings. Unfortunately, many of the locals were in bed sleeping wanting to catch up on all their fuckings and it just wasn't happening right for everyone and terrified celebrations came on in the morning and maple syrup was thrown up in the air and bitches went crazy for the sticky Canadian nectar. I've had white Canadian nectar before. Of course you have, Hank. You're a fucking slut and I'm not afraid to say it unlike your best friends. My best friends know that you are a fucking slut but that's about it. They don't know about me? Oh they just don't know about me? I am a good girl a good old school girl and I don't take kindly to your motherfucking accusations and if you say them again and accuse me I will move you to a crazy penitentiary and have you murdered and fed to the local perverted dogs. Feel the heat go all through my body hit my bitch and steal my money. The third garish degree. Garish. You want a garish degree, ha? Huh? Come here and I will give you one. No thanks, Hank. I was only saying it to make it sound more interesting. You don't have to do anything to hurt me or shit and you don't have to make me sorry later at night when we are at home and the crowd is lonely. Fucking hell. The Monday blues are really getting to you, aren't they? Fill up my cup. Just fucking fill it up a local coffee whore was heard shouting at a barista in Mommy Bucks but the barista had had a very bad night of sleep and wasn't ready for the annals of this addict and told the addict that if he couldn't wait another minute then he would bring him out back and shoot his head off his fucking shoulders. This quieted the addict for a few seconds but he started getting bitchy and whiny and opened a winery and everyone wanted his wines and when it got too much for him he shut up shop and sucked a lot of cock but his coffee craving was still too much so 30 minutes after founding his winery and selling all his wines he went back to mommy bucks where he was served an almighty sized cup of coffee and died from a heart attack. I love my job. You're only happy because you killed someone naturally. And I get to report about it too? Don't you forget about that. Not if I get you fired you won't be. You old. I did.